Here's a trip to London with Nancy and Paul, 1970. The Thames in Westminster Abbey. There's the House of Parliament, Big Ben. Very impressive buildings along there. And one of the many bridges across the Thames, there's Nancy and a friend on the tour. This girl was from upstate New York and a very sweet little gal. There's more London buildings, I think the House of Parliament. But this is our first trip to London, and we certainly enjoyed it, especially along here, the changing the guard. Here's Windsor Castle, residence of the Queen near London. And there's the stiff formal guards. I think they're mainly for the benefit of the tourists, but they uh, are very impressive. I always thought I'd hate to have that duty. They say they bear hats. They don't wear them when it's raining or wet. This is Ham House. It's an old residence. It's a now a museum. But I don't guess we're at Ham House yet. This is still Windsor Castle. And it's un been unchanged for centuries and probably will go on unchanged. Whenever the Queen's there, they, they limit your tours, but when she's not there, you can pretty well go through it. I think this is Ham House. Bowater Paper Company provided us a tour guide named David, and he was a marvelous man. He was an art nut, and this house was full of art, seven gardeners, private residence, flats, and uh, David, this is a car we rode in. David would explain all the details of the art <coughs> and uh, why they did this and why they did that. And, uh, elaborately sculptured bushes. And we were quite impressed with it. On later trips to London, we'd call David and he'd guide us, but we lost touch with him since. There's some of the in London. There's some of the beautiful gardens and ham house. It was quite expensive to keep up, I would imagine. What was this David explaining all of it to us? At it's still a very fond memory. These are some of the king's private deer herd in a park near London. And the uh, London streets, these are old ships on the Thames. And some of the impressive bridges. The old warehouses are gradually coming down now and being replaced by flats and modern buildings. This uh, is Tower Bridge. It's 
one of the favorite bridges, probably the most beautiful one on the river. We went on a boat ride on the Thames and it was uh, a little chilly. Of course it's chilly there the year round. And the boat went aground. This is a police boat had to tow us out. I, I think they were a little chipped by it. There's Big Ben again. And this is a Canberra. We took a Mediterranean cruise on beautiful ship. And this is at leaving Southampton. Paul has seen a Canberra several times since, and it's still just like new, a beautiful ship. We took a subsequent cruise on it in 1960, 1972. Somewhere in this crowd are Lenny and Kathy Graham. We met on a trip and their son John. And uh, he was quite a prankster. He delighted in throwing Nan in the pool. And he came up one time with a little Japanese and started to throw him in the pool and the, the guy started to give him a karate chop so Lenny backed off. But the English would just go ape over the sunshine and they'd sit out for days and turn red like raw meat. These are just scenes of the Mediterranean. They're like any other sea. It's a beautiful blue. But there's Lenny and Kathy laying out on deck. But the British are more sun worshippers than Americans because they very seldom they can do it in England. So the pool was quite popular. But I think Nancy got loose with a camera on deck and she really took a lot of pictures. This is Rome, the old Colosseum. We were quite impressed with it. We went to the Vatican and they had a real sullen guard there at the door and they wouldn't let Nancy in because her skirt was too short. And we were quite hacked at that. But it's a city of old buildings and fountains and monuments. Beautiful, beautiful city. There's fountains and I think that's a wishing fountain. You throw a coin in there and you uh, you'll return to Rome. So every time we go to Rome, we make great pains to throw coins in there. I think they made the movie The Three Coins in a Fountain around that little square. This is St. Peter's Square, I think. Uh, and the Pope gets up there in the Vatican and addresses thousands and thousands of people periodically. We were sorry on this trip we could not get into the Vatican. There's some of the ships there at the pier at Naples. 
we came into Naples and left from Naples. Canberra is a big ship that holds some 1,700 people, mostly English, very few Americans. There's one the tug is taking us off from Naples. But we got quite fond of the British. There's a scene of Vigo, Spain, which uh, we enjoyed the tour. It's quite a hilly city, and they had a, a funicular up the mountain that we enjoyed. And people lived up there. It was only transportation was riding the cable car. There's a Canberra out in the Mediterranean. And the fishing fleet. And, uh, there's a view of Spain. Some of the giant cranes along the docks and the tour buses waiting for us avid tourists. There's a smaller cruise ship being pulled out by a tug. Yeah, here's Nancy and Martha and Cherry all decked out. Bobby on his bike, and here comes Paul. No, that's still Bobby. And here's Paul in his second childhood on his bike. He rode a bike several years there and really enjoyed it, but didn't seem to take off much weight. Here's the old house in Atchison, 315 North Terrace, being torn down for bricks. It's a shame to see it. And for years there was just a pile of rubble. They never got all the bricks out of it. There's our other 1970 LTD, and a view of 1057 Riverview Drive. My brother Evan and Bessie and Virginia and Jean's house at Atchison. So it overlooks the Missouri River. This is a view of the river from Riverview Drive. 